Guess what? They also pretty much knocked it out of the park. I am super impressed. Today I've got an email from Topaz saying that that I've got a new update for Topaz Denoise AI, which is now is version 3.2. So what's in the update? It's saying improved color toning process and raw file and DNG files. When available, Denoise will apply a camera specific color profile as well as provided improved overall color accuracy. Understandably, I think because generally in my many, 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 many tests over the years, um, the Topaz Denoys AI gave me a pretty bad result for um, the RAW, uh, where it actually worked really well as a plugin or JPEG and specifically 16-bit TIFF. Um, you can go back to my previous videos and take a look at the examples. Uh, I extensively uh, tested uh, Topaz Denoise AI against On One No Noise AI, um, Nick Define 2, and also DXO Pure Raw. And in every single test, Topaz was excellent in TIFF or as a plugin, where as a raw directly as a standalone, as a first step, the color was never good. I was very disappointed. So now it looks like they acknowledged that uh, problem and they improved it. So I'm kind of curious to see exactly what they have to do. And second improve was that improved metadata support. So they're supporting, I understand that Canon CR3 and HEIC metadata and performance. Of course, every update, they're kind of performance and they're nice enough to provide that to me uh, for free. Um, mind you that I'm not really affiliated with Topaz Denoise AI, but it's nice. What I'm going to do, I'm going to first use the original version, the version 3.1.1. So that's the older version and now we have a new version and compare it side by side with a raw file. So I'm going to use a raw file, super noisy. And there you go, you can see that the noise is pretty bad. So just to give you an idea, if you look at the right hand corner, it's actually a 1600 ISO file, which is maybe you might think it's not that big enough, not that huge. But remember, this photo was taken with a 2015 camera, bridge camera, and the sensor is one and a half size sensor, I believe, which means smaller sensor, old camera, and noisy. So what can go wrong, right? I, I wish I could zoom in even more. And then if you look at everywhere, it looks super noisy in the shadow area. I can, I, I think I can even zoom in even 100%. This, now you can do you can look at it in a better uh, with the better details it just looks wrong so i'm going to use that first with the older version and then update my uh, topaz dinos ai with the new version and compare it side by side so let's jump in all right so we are at the older version so what i'm going to do i'm going to open my raw file what i'm going to do, just drag and drop I'm not going to go into the details. I'm just going to use the automatic version of it. No slider will be used, no um, uh, minor adjustment. It's just automatic and that's it. So let's see what it gives me. So I'm, and the second part, of course, you have the four different noise reduction, standard, clear, low light, and severe noise. I'm going to use severe noise for two reasons. One. This is the latest, latest one. So that means that that should give me a very good um, uh, result. And the second one, severe noise is for a super noisy photo. So which is, I don't have it in the screen. So I'm going to change it, which should be here. And there you go. Let's see, there you go. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use the severe noise and the automatic so that I want to see exactly what it gives me with the older version and what it gives me in the newer version. Um, and due to heavy noise, I think the severe noise is the ideal um, mode to use. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save image and save is at, I don't know, TIFF or JPEG. Let's save is as a TIFF 16 bit. And I'm going to change the name as one old version and and save it uh, in the source and then after that i'm going to update topaz denoise ai to 3.2 and i'm going to see exactly what it gives me that should be interesting so let's update the software all right looks like i've done my uh update and right off the bat i've got a notification saying we have improved how we manage raw image color when available we will apply a camera specific color profile based on the raw metadata as well as provide improved overall color accuracy to return to the original color processing method disable the apply color correction at the setting preference so i'm going to click ok and i will go to help to check the updated number so it does say topaz denoise ai version 3.2.0 close it beam now preference let's see what's the change so everything is on which is good apply auto lens correction append processing model suffix and so on uh, apply raw color correction so yeah that's the one that i'm just going to leave it on to see exactly what it gives me so allow anonymous data collection is definitely off i don't want it auto update preview done um control panels location ai processor nvidia geforce that's my graphics card should i leave it as it is maybe yes um allowed memory consumption i leave it to medium because last time i had problem with high now here's the one thing i'm really confused apply auto lens correction problem with that if i leave it on that's fine it may going to fix my lenses but then again if i open it again say let's say if you have lightroom or uh, i have silky pixel developer studio pro i have to be very careful with the lens correction in that case i need to leave it off otherwise it's going to do double lens correction and that might give some weird results so i'm i really need to remember that other than that everything is fine i'm just going to close it and i'm going to go back to my folder and drag and drop the same photo i've done earlier and let's see what it gives me it's going to take some time let's see if there's any speed improvement that's also an important things to remember and then uh, not much change in the right hand side which is remains the same same um, noise reduction the same everything actually uh, i think it's more um, focused on the color if i understand and then let's gonna go for a quick look everything i'm just going to keep it everything in severe noise only because uh, the last one um, i've used the severe noise too although keep look at the clear clear looks pl actually <laughs> interestingly enough pretty clear to me but that's fine I'm just going to leave it to severe noise just to see a side by side comparison. Could be interesting, you never know. That's a final check. Everything is in auto. I'm going to save image, TIFF 16 bit, and I'm going to make a num mark to new version so that I can distinct side by side exactly what I'm doing. Now I'm going to click save. It's going to take some time. That's also an interesting thing to look at how much improvement it has got. And it's actually going pretty much the same. Not much improvement than the last time. Even the last time was not that bad either. So I should not complain. Now we are done here. So here we are in Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro. Uh, we have all of all three of our photos ready. First one is the actual noisy photo second one is the older version third one is the new version i think you can see it already there is something weird happened which is in a good way look at the second one and the third one even in a thumbnail mode there's a huge difference side by side as a matter of fact the first one the original raw and the third one looks identical and the older version does not look identical 
Is that a good news? Is that mean they already identified that on one no noise AI doing very good result on raw, but the topaz actually uh, noticed that they are not doing as well with the raw file and they improved it. That's a fantastic news. So I'm going to close everything and compare side by side. I'm very excited about it. That means that I don't need to buy on one no noise AI or DXP raw. So first thing first, let me show you the original uh, raw file again just to refresh your memory look at the noise now i'm going to put it on the side so that you have a side by side uh, view now remember because i'm not going to put any text you need to remember it second one now that's the older version so now we are looking at the older version on the left hand side right huge difference in color the older version the raw standalone was not doing a very 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 good job now what about the new version it's time to show you the result in three two one and look at that huge extraordinary improvement i am a big fan already Look at that. This is brilliant. You know what? Now that in this video, I'm going to compare the older version and new version, and I'm going to compare the newer, the new result with the on one no noise AI. Hang on a second. Let me finish that. So I'm going to put the new result on the right hand side. So they're both identical now. So here you are looking at the new Topaz Denoise AI 3.2 at the both end now i'm going to go back to the older version and come on i mean i don't need to say anything you can see it yourself this is a huge improvement no weird color um crap going on seriously they improved a lot amazing so if you guys look at my previous videos you can ignore all the video about me saying topaz denoise ai is not very good um, as a raw but doing very good as TIFF or JPEG or plugin ignore that because looks like they acknowledge the problem and it has improved now I'm going to go to my folder and then bring up same photo processed with on one no noise AI and compare side by side all right time for a bonus so now you have three images in the screen in silky pix developer studio pro so one in the middle that's the newest topaz denoise ai with a severe noise reaction on your left that's the no noise ai on the far right that's the dxo d prime so i'm going to open it again put it on the side and now what are you looking at on your left hand side this one so now you are looking at the on one no noise ai on your left hand side i'm screaming because i'm not going to put any text probably and on the right hand side i'm looking at topaz denoise ai the newest version the update happened last night so let's zoom in quite a bit and right off the bat the color looks almost accurate but then again on one it still has better sharpness as automatic remind you automatic i repeat automatic so which means topaz also done in automatic you saw it and the sharpness can be improved with the sliders but in automatic mode the on one still has better sharpness but in terms of the overall look they both look satisfactory in my eyes and what if I compare that with the DXO Piero D prime? Now you're looking at on your left hand side the DXO Piero, and on your right hand side you are looking at the Topaz Denoise AI um, the uh, severe noise reduction. God, I need some water. Now let's zoom in quite a bit. Now again some might say dxo is way too sharp some say that's perfectly fine i say nothing wrong with any of those 
But then again, Topaz has a less sharpness. Remind you, Topaz has a sharpening AI, which is fantastic. And that's the reason why they're selling it on the side is because, of course, they want you to buy it. Otherwise, it's the no purpose of selling a separate plugin if Denoise is doing a good job, right? Um, but also remind you that if you have Lightroom or whatever software you have in the planet, basically, everything has a sharpening and they're all fantastic. So you can always add extra sharpness on the side. I personally prefer to add my own sharpness in my own term, so which means that the Topaz on the left-hand side, sorry, on the right hand side um, has less sharpness than the DXO counterpart that does not really mean that it's bad you can always add sharpness hyper sharpening fantastic unsharp marks is also fantastic you can use any of those if you don't have any kind of special plugin you know modern software does fantastic job in noise reduction too you actually don't need any noise reduction software if you have Lightroom Capture One Mm, Silky Basic Developer Studio Pro, even DxO, you know, Photo Lab, uh, and the free one, the Dark Table, you name it, they all do a very, 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 and very good job. I cannot stress this enough. Now, I'm getting a little bit of sidetracked. Let's go. The first one, on one no noise AI on the left, and Topaz Z noise AI on the right. DxO D Prime on the left, and Topaz Z noise AI on the right so this video became <laughs> uh, not just a news of topaz dinos ai update news it also became a video comparing on one no noise ai and dxo d prime with the newest the latest topaz dinos ai 3.2 update so hopefully this video has been very helpful to you and resourceful if so like and subscribe give your mom a kiss and love everybody enjoy nature and keep smiling all the time. Bye-bye.